I want to shout out to my man Jimmy. Uh, he's been a huge, huge help. Appreciate you, partner. Thanks for all the help. Thanks for all the advice on getting getting all this processing done. It was a big help. Appreciate you, man. Hey guys, Steve here. Got beautiful with me. It's been right at almost three days since we processed these chickens and they've been sitting in a, an ice bath in these coolers. One over there and this big one right here. And then the, the stuff we separated has actually been in the uh, outside refrigerator. Thank you, beautiful. So the whole chicken we're going to shrink wrap. We're gonna put it in a bag and we're gonna dunk it. For those of you who haven't ever seen that process before, we're gonna show you. And what it does is it gives you a nice airtight, fairly airtight. It's not as good as vacuum sealed, but it's pretty close. And uh, that chicken will last a good uh, eight months to a year, maybe even more in the freezer under ideal uh, temperature conditions. Um, so we're gonna do that. And I have no idea how many whole chickens we have. We, we, we kind of stopped counting. I mean, we started off with 50 obviously is what we processed, but several of them we broke down into breasts, leg quarters, uh, tenders and wings. And uh, I'd say we broke down like 10 to 15. Yeah, that's probably about right. So we probably broke down 10 to 15. So we'll see how many whole ones we end up with here. But basically we don't have them out yet, but what we're gonna do is and take some chicken out. We don't have drying racks. That's a that's a lesson learned for next time. I'm going to build one out of PVC or something like that because you want them to be. They don't have to be completely dry, but you want them to be at least a little bit dry before you put them in the bags because the more water that's in them uh, when you freeze them, the more prone they are to freeze or burn that kind of thing. So we've got some uh, pans here and with some paper towels. You can see some blew off over there on the ground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We got some paper towels. We're gonna set the chicken upside down on, on there and let them sit for a little bit to drip dry. And then we're gonna bag them and then we're gonna dunk them into about 190 degree water. And it's gonna uh, shrink that bag right up and we'll show you that process here shortly. All right, so real quick guys, we have 10 chickens sitting out on the pan. Like I said, this is the greatest way to do it. A lot of people use PVC drying racks, stuff like that. I've even seen people use those uh, uh, what do you call it, like beer can chicken, you know, it's got like a little metal rack that you can set a beer can in, you set the chicken on top of it and you roast it in the oven or smoke it. Uh, those are good for this purpose too if you had enough of them. But anyway, it still works. So they're drip drying here. We've got 10 of them right now. We've got our pot here. This is the same one we used for scalding. We just cleaned it out real good, obviously. And this needs to get up to 100 and somewhere between 180 and 200. As you can see right now, it's at about 150 five ish something like that so we're just kind of waiting right now as soon as that's to temp we're going to start bagging them and we'll show you guys how to do that why are you lying <laughs> i'm just kidding beautiful went to go get some uh oven mittens these will be good for dipping these in the water without burning our hands anything to say no i just you put you on the spot you're lying about what the temperature's gone up since you last said it I don't think so. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we've got the uh, breast down, head down. There's a straw that you put down into the cavity, about halfway into the cavity of the chicken. You don't want it all the way in because uh, it's gonna prevent the air from coming out through this straw. That's what this straw's for. So you're gonna put it in about halfway and then you're gonna wrap it up, get, get as much uh, air out as you can. Running out of space over here. Too much chicken. <laughs> Never such a bad thing. So, get as much air out as you can. You want to twist it? You want to put a zip tie around it? Not too tight, right? Yeah, just not real tight, just kind of firm on there. And then we're going to take a, a glove here. Beautiful is going to do the honors. And you're going to dip it in and out of the water. Uh, roughly about five seconds. I'm gonna move the camera here in a minute so you can see. So basically what you're looking for is for this bag to shrink up and mold to this chicken. You can actually hear the air coming out of this straw as well. Let me move this camera for you guys. I guess I should do it with the, you know. Yeah, it'd be a good idea to use it with the glove hand. So you're ready to zip tie me? Yeah, we need more space this over here all right so beautiful's got the chicken we're gonna dunk it 
just gonna put it in there. You need to cover it all the way. Whoa. All right, lift it up. Let's check it out. All right, so that was just a few seconds, guys. See, see, that's a nice wrapped chicken, shrinked just like it's supposed to be. And this is pretty, pretty tough too. You can see on this chicken here, there was a uh, a wing had broken, and uh, it did not puncture the bag. These bags are actually pretty tough. So that's it. So we're gonna put it on over here. It's I'm not gonna... hot after a few seconds. All right, so you guys can see what, what to do. Once once your bag is all shrunk, like I said, you see how it's nice and pretty shrank around that chicken? So you've got to tight, you wanna cinch down the rest of this and while at the same time while you're pulling this out, that's why it's good to have two people. So it's good to use a pair of pliers because you can really cinch it down on this zip tie. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it and uh, beautiful is gonna pull the straw out. Ready? Uh -huh. All right, so I got that nice and tight. Perfect. And then fetch your zip tie, and that's it, guys. That's a professionally shrunk wrap, shrink wrapped, however you say it, chicken right there, guys. This isn't a uh, professional scale by any stretch, but we actually do calibrate this thing. And we've got a little five pound uh, uh, dumbbell that Dorothy uses to do squats with. Are you serious? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's actually pretty strong. <laughs> so we've got a little five pound dumbbell that we use and it's this, it's right on the money. So we know this is accurate. Here we go. What do you think? You want to guess? Want to guess? I'd say about five, almost six pounds. I want to say 5.3 because I saw it before I covered it. <laughs> <laughs> so 5.3 dress, guys. And look at that pretty handwriting. If I wrote this, guys, you wouldn't know what, what it said. And then you just take your nose. It looked like it was in Swahili or some foreign language. Well, that didn't turn out very pretty. Yeah, you should have put it uh, long ways. Yep. That was a big fail. Lessons learned. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and uh, the only thing this label is missing is our uh, ranch name and address. So any of these, most of these are actually going to just be for our family. But any of these that we sell, we have a separate label that will have our logo and our uh, ranch name on it. That's it. Now it goes to the freezer. We've got a medium size deep freeze here and it was actually almost empty. We had a few things in here and it needed a good defrost so i actually took this out and completely cleaned it out today so it was ready for our chicken so as you guys can see it's completely empty i'll try to look up uh how many uh cubic feet this thing is i don't know off the top of my head but you can tell this is next to a standard fridge that's about the size it's a medium sized freezer all right let's get our chicken in there all right so that's one woohoo we're done yep i wish <laughs> On to the next. Hey guys, quick update. We've got how many in the freezer? 10. We've got 10 in the freezer. We've got about 10 here. One of them, the bag didn't close all the way and thankfully we caught it before we put it in the freezer. So we got to rebag that one. But uh, this is just a quick update guys. This is where we're at. So we've got about 20 uh, done. And over there we've got 12. Well, 13 including the one we got to redeem. Yeah, we've got 13 more to do over here. Those are drying. We also had to top off the water a little bit, so it's getting back up to temp right now, but it's going pretty quick. As you guys saw from the other video, once you uh, get going, 
you get like a little routine to it much easier to bag than it is the process what do you think yeah yeah definitely much easier to bag all right we got to get these in the freezer all right guys real quick i just want to show you guys beautiful looked it up this is a 9.2 cubic feet uh chest freezer so not real big about a medium size 32 whole chickens is what we got in here guys so we got about 10 inches from the top and we could have packed them in a little bit uh heavier if we wanted to but this was all we processed the the rest of them were uh pieced out like we talked about we're gonna vacuum seal those and beautiful if she has time tomorrow she's gonna video uh the vacuum seal process and what we do and how we put those up as well but so 32 chickens we did the math average dressed out over six pounds but at a conservative number six times 32 is 192 92 is we did the math so 192 plus pounds of meat right here guys we're pretty happy about that and uh we learned a lot during this process of let me go ahead and close this we learned a lot during this process of uh processing these things so next time around as you guys know we've got another meat batch already on the way yeah well i don't know about i don't know if i'd say easy it's not easy guys but it's worth it uh this meat we know exactly where these chickens came from from start to finish we took care of them we loved them we gave them a good life we're pretty proud of that and now when we feed our family we've got that sense of pride of knowing exactly what went into that animal and uh it's delicious meat and we've already roasted two of them uh beautiful and me are actually fasting right now yeah. so we actually couldn't eat it in a week we're gonna eat some of this chicken we'll tell you guys how, what we think about it but our boys are pretty good uh food critics because i'm barbecue for them all the time they're pretty happy about the chicken they said it was really good so we're pretty happy about that that's all we got for today guys really appreciate you guys following us along for the journey and uh, hopefully you learned something if you guys have any questions at all comments suggestions ways we could do it better put them down below we'd love to hear it uh, i want to shout out to my man jimmy uh, he's been a huge, huge help. Appreciate your partner. Thanks for all the help. Thanks for all the advice on getting getting all this processing done. It was a big help. Appreciate you, man. Anybody else, man, we love the advice, so don't hesitate to put it down below. We're never too proud to learn. We love you guys. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Yep.